His lecture is very simple but very crucial, very crucial for all of us to understand clearly. Not only that, you have to teach this topic clearly to your people. For those who are studying through video, please keep this in your mind. Have a good record of this. Okay. Now, the question is, what is the first, the first gospel? Okay. Uh, I will speak to you slowly so you write down all information. Okay. It's a very, very important part here. Theologically, a very, very important part. Now, here, uh, we theologians call the gospel. Gospel. In Greek word, gospel is evangelion. That's the Greek word. That's a gospel. Evangelion. Okay? And also, in Greek word, euangelion. It's the same. Evangelion and euangelion. Euangelion. Two G's here. Euangelion. Greek word. In Bible translators uh, translated say the gospel okay that's English translation the you see put down the although okay because uh, over here we see in, in, in Greek word it, to that's the the to or to Ton, all the the. The, the. That means, the means only. Okay? So it is very important whether the is there or not. It's if no the means many different. Many, but this is a unique. Only means the. Got it? Yeah, the. Yeah. And pro means pro. Pro means what? Pro means in this year is pro means before. Okay, you know you know prophet. Prophet means fat means it word talking. Fat. Pro means before in other prophet. Okay? Before Talking. In other words, prophecy. He said future things, okay, before it happening. It's a prophet. Fat means working, speaking, talking. That's a fat. Like the pro means here, over here is the first. So, proto means the, this is the the, okay? The first, the first, okay? So, it's a, in Greek word, proto evangelion means, evangelion means what? Gospel, good news, okay? So, proto evangelion or proto evangelion. Evangelion. That's the same meaning. The first gospel. Okay. So the gospel, that gospel terminology, uh, Paul wrote that gospel. Okay. In, in our uh, understanding of the gospel, in, in, in Christian community, we call the gospel as the good news. Okay. It's the good news. 
the gospel, the gospel, the good news. Okay, now Paul uh, explained the meaning of the gospel uh, in Romans chapter 1, verses 3 to 5. Romans, later you read it, okay? Paul expressed the meaning of the gospel in a very, in a, a extensive, extended, wider, wider ways of understanding. Okay? He, he explained the gospel to Roman Christians. Here in chapter 1, 3 to 5, he said this, Jesus, his coming to this world prophesied, he said that, and he will come to this world as a descendant of King David. It's all gospel stories. Okay? Descendant of King David, when time comes, he, he, he became 100% human. And he died on the cross and he resurrected. Okay. And he said that those who believing this went out to the entire Roman Empire preaching it. Now, Paul gave the definition of the gospel, okay, very wider perspectives, okay, Old Testament prophecy, and actually he became a human. Not only that, those who are believing will go out to share the gospel in entire Roman Empire. All this inclusive. All these inclusive ways of the a, a entire history of Jesus, okay, including mission, evangelism and mission, all this, by the Paul calls it the gospel. In a very dynamic, dynamic way, okay, it's not just a static. Static means just a fixed. Jesus died for us. Not that simple way. It dynamic way. Paul expressed the gospel. Where he said here, Romans chapter one, verses three to five. Are you with me? Okay. Now here, then we we. Uh, Often, uh, we often claim that first gospel uh, is written in Genesis 3.15. Would you, would you write down on your note? Okay, I will give you very uh, important uh, teachings on these issues. Okay? Genesis 3.15, uh, we call this the seed of woman. You see, my book name is The Seed of Woman. Okay? It, it has the Seed of Woman, it has a definite article, the. Okay? And Seed, it's a capital letter S. The Seed of Woman. It, it's a, not a capital letter woman, just a normal letter W. But make sure the seed, in original manuscript, also said that the seed, capital letter S. Now, here, this, this gospel, we call it the first gospel. Okay, you write down that meaning. This first gospel was made by Jesus, Jehovah, Jehovah God, Yahweh God, okay? Write down Jehovah and Yahweh God, 
okay, promised to Satan, promised this to Satan, who, who tempted Satan tempted Adam and Eve. Let me put it this way. Right after Adam and Eve got fallen, right after Adam and Eve got fallen by Satan, Yahweh, Jesus, promised Satan. Yahweh, Jesus, promised to Satan by saying this, Genesis 3.15. This is very, very much the commanding, commanding promise throughout the Bible. In other words, there is a key verse, key promise governing throughout the Bible, entire Bible. Genesis 3.15. Now, change your paragraph. This is a very important part, okay? Many pastors even cannot understand this clearly. That's why, as I'm traveling all over the world, teaching them for last 30 years, not a single one year, 30 years in my life, teaching pastors around the world. That's why I'm telling you this clearly. Now, who promised to whom? Jesus. What's the name of Jesus in the Old Testament time? Yahweh. Jehovah. That translated in English, the Lord. The Lord. Okay. So in your Bible, it said the Lord. That often confuses us. Okay, that Yahweh, Jesus, Jehovah, Jesus, promised who? Satan. Satan, that he said this. Satan, you're one of your descendants. You see, one of your descendants, you see, in here it said, oh, Right here, O, oh, not the, O, oh, small letter S, O, oh, C, D, O, U. Okay, O, oh, C, D, O, U. Not Satan. Okay, offspring of, O, oh, O, oh, one offspring, one descendant of you. Okay, will will fight against the capital letter S seed of woman. Are you with me? Okay. So, who would be the seed of woman? The seed of woman is that's. Jesus. But 100% human Jesus. See, the seed of woman means Yahweh, God, will become a human, 100% human, through Oh, woman. That woman is who? Maria. Okay? So Jesus became the, not oh, the seed, that's a special capital letter S, seed of woman. In other words, Jesus will become a hundred percent human out of 
of woman out of human woman not just descending down from heaven but he will be born out of woman human woman when time comes gabriel appeared to maria remember that to fulfill this 4000 years later gabriel appeared to maria that maria you are 100% virgin okay but you will deliver you will be con- you will conceive a baby that baby will be jehovah god here so the holy spirit look chapter 1 verse 35 holy spirit conceived baby look chapter 135 and you maria maria said i am a full virgin how could how could it happen it's all said maria said i am a virgin In Matthew 18:23 Gabriel told Joseph that that Maria who is virgin will conceive a baby that baby name in verse 30 Emmanuel remember that Emmanuel verse 23 God is with us Emmanuel means God is with us that was fulfillment of Isaiah Isaiah chapter 7:14 So God Jesus will be 100% human called Emmanuel Emmanuel means God is with human with us physically in 100% human form dwelling with us as a 100% human form he lived in this world for 33 years as a 100% full human that means emmanuel you see emmanuel means that 100% human emmanuel with with us physically living together with us 33 years that was fulfilled here in the life of maria that first 23 gabriel told maria told joseph your fiance will be like that now so now that means that the seed of woman who is who jesus okay the jesus and and who will be fighting against oh not satan oh seed of satan don't forget that oh seed of satan and the seed of woman 100% human jesus in other word 100% human jesus will fight against Okay, one of Satan's descendants. That is the first gospel story, Genesis three fifteen. Then Genesis three fifteen, then Jesus told Satan, "Your descendant will will." attack my feet that is uh, signifying the you know death of jesus attack my feet but i will that then the seed of woman will hit your descendants brain head signifying Jesus will claim victory 
over Satan descendant. Eventually, who will claim victory? Jesus. So Jesus claimed victory here upon his resurrection. Upon his resurrection. Resurrection means he claimed the victory in this fighting. You got it? Now, our question is this. As Jesus said, who will be a seed of Satan? You see, this is a very important part here. Okay? Now, 4,000 years later, right after the seed of woman prophecy, Jesus became a human. Now, he, he picked up 12 disciples. 12 disciples. Okay? Twelve disciples. One of one of one of the twelves by the name of Judas Iscariot. One of the twelve. Judas Iscariot. He was very smart. So he was uh, among the twelve, he was very smart. And he was a treasure. Treasure. Treasurer. Remember the treasurer? Handling money. In the early stage of the public ministries, very, very early stage of the public ministries, very early stage, all of a sudden, Jesus, okay, Jesus spoke to his 12 disciples, all of a sudden, saying this, one of you, in other words, one of you, my disciples, one of 12, okay? One of you is, is, he said, a devil. It's not a the devil. The devil is who? Satan. The devil, and then it kept her letter D. Diabolus, okay? The devil always means Satan. Okay? But here in John chapter 6, verses 70 and 71, the early stage, Jesus Reveal this to his disciples. Okay. One of you is, you see, not will be, okay, is a devil. Oh, it's it, it indefinite article. Or devil and a small letter, D. There are many small devils, but, okay. Then he said this in verse 71, that they were so wondering about this, okay. And Jesus said, the Judas Iscariot is a devil, he said that. Judas Iscariot, he, he, Pinpointed, okay. Judas Iscariot is a devil. In your language, there is no such a, a dot, you know, differences. That's why I emphasize on this. Judas Iscariot is a devil. Now, he spent together with Jesus for three years along with other disciples. But 
His disciples did not, did not understand the identity of Judas Iscariot as Jesus told them in the early stage. Now, but Judas Iscariot, okay, spiritually, he became incarnated into human form in order to fulfill the seed of woman prophecy. You know, evil spirit, God, you know, fallen angels, okay, can incarnate into human form. Do you believe that? Yes. Why not? So he was fallen spirit, one of the descendant of satanic children, became a hundred percent human in order to fulfill that prophecy. So he became a hundred percent human. Okay. Now. Here in John 13, John 13, beginning with, that's the story of the, the Last Supper story. Okay? Last Supper time was one day before Jesus' crucifixion. Okay? In order to fulfill that seed of woman prophecy, okay, Jesus, Jesus, allowed the devil put into the heart of Judas to betray him. So devil means the Satan. Okay? Satan, the devil, as the Bible says, the the devil. That now in order to fulfill this prophecy, Satan, the devil, Okay. okay, activated that to betray Jesus. Okay, and the dirty spirit now into, into that 100% human Judas, Judas heart. John 13, 2. Now, after, the, after that, here, John 13, 27, actually, Satan, Satan, his spirit, Satan entered Judas Iscariot. See? Satan actually entered entered inside of Judas Iscariot's heart to fulfill the see the woman prophecy. Now, here, John 13, 27. Okay? Now, here, to fulfill that, Judas Iscariot was promised by Jewish leaders uh, to betray Jesus for 30 silver coins, which Judas Iscariot was, he was, he received 30 silver coins for the betrayal. Matthew 27, 3, and Luke 22, 5. See? So after betrayed Jesus, right before, okay, death of Jesus, he, after he, his job was what? His job was to give Jesus to Jewish top leaders for his crucifixions. 
which the fulfillment of the seed of woman, and he committed suicide. Ended up with hell. Because that his job was over as a human. He committed suicide. Here, Luke 22, verse 5. It interestingly, Matthew 26, 56 said that all this was to fulfill the scripture. To fulfill the scripture. You see, all these Judas Iscariot stories was to fulfill the scripture. What scripture? Huh? Genesis 3.15. Okay. After the fulfillment of this, Jesus claimed the victory as he resurrected. So Jesus Iscariot was acting as the instrument in crucifixion of Jesus. After he has done his job, God sent him back to his original place. Okay, upon his suicide. Many liberal theologians <clears throat> telling that Judas Iscariot was a good man. Why God did that? Okay, many people, even evangelical pastors, Christians asking, Judas Iscariot was a good man. He was one of the God's disciples. Why God allowed Judas Iscariot to do this? And try to resolve these Judas Iscariot issues in a human, human, say, rational ways or humanistic approach. Okay? Not a see the woman prophecy. Our God, Jesus, is very, very exact God in terms of uh, whatever promise he made which shall be fulfilled in his divine time in his own way. So we should understand the gospel and the Bible and all the stories in the Bible according to his Prophetic fulfillment, prophetic utterances. Utterances means prophetic word. Here, what is the first gospel? Genesis 3.15. In order to fulfill the first gospel, Judas Iscariot should be available. Okay? To fulfill this. Are you able to share this message to, with your people? That's very, very important issue. May God bless you as you are willing to share these messages. In Jesus' name, amen.